is News 3 Now, live at 4, moving forward. And good afternoon and welcome to Live at 4. The jury is deliberating right now in the trial of Jakaira Anderson. Well, she's facing homicide charges after shooting 34-year-old Kausu Samba last year at a Middleton car dealership where he worked. Armand Rahman live in the courthouse where attorneys delivered their closing statements today. Armand. Eric and Susan, the jury is deliberating right now. They actually sent a question to the court asking whether or not they could have a transcript of Ja'Kyra Anderson's testimony, and the judge and the attorneys are debating that right now. Now, the question that the attorneys pose to the jury is whether or not Anderson intended to kill Samba when she pulled out her gun during an argument over a car where she wanted her money back. Now, the state argued that Anderson admitted a gunshot from that distance would cause death. Meanwhile, the defense argued Samba manhandled her, leading her to take out the gun in the first place. The jury wanted to see for themselves, watching the surveillance video once more with audio from Anderson's call with customer service and 911. The defendant intentionally caused the death of Kausu Samba, and there is no evidence that she feared imminent death or great bodily harm when she did. Only when he was not stopping and when he was advancing on her did she pull the trigger one time in the blink of an eye because he wouldn't stop. As the video played, Samba's loved ones looked on in pain at the events leading to his death while Anderson remained hunched over face in hand as she's been for most of the trial. Now be sure to check back in with us later on channel2000.com and later on in the hour for updates on a verdict in this case. For now, live in downtown Madison, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. Armand, thank you. Now the other big story we're following today is the departure of yet another key member of the Badger men's basketball team. Sports director Zach Hanley is here with details on who is leaving now, Zach. You know what, every time I come on here, it feels <laughs> like we're talking about this, yeah. but after three seasons at Wisconsin, Chucky Hepburn is entering the transfer portal, becoming the seventh Badger to leave the program from last season. Hepburn's coming off a junior year where he averaged nine points, nearly four assists, and three rebounds per game. In a post on Instagram, he wrote, I am overwhelmed with gratitude for the experiences and the relationships that have shaped me during my time here. After thanking his teammates, coaches, and family, he went on to say that his decision is not a reflection of anything lacking at Wisconsin. Rather, it's an opportunity to explore new possibilities. And he closed by saying that he'll always be proud to have been a Badger. And because every time I come on and we're talking about bad things, I just wanted to reminisce on the good Chucky moment and think about when you think about Chucky Hepburn, you think about big producer, the, right? the bank shot to win the Big Ten Championship. So, but this transfer portal, man, oh. this is wild, wild west. But every time we talk about it, it's like, well, someone's going here, someone's going there. So seven players leaving Wisconsin, eight if you include Tyler Wall from last season. They need to start bringing some guys in now to fill those roles. Otherwise, it 13 scholarships be... per team yeah. or whatever, so they're down to, what, five? And So you can play back up point play. guard next year. <laughs> yeah. I'll play. You have okay. some. I can, I can throw some elbows <laughs> in the post, but that's about it. Well, We're at least we get to see elbows. a lot of you. That's yeah. a good That's a good <laughs> I don't know if that's, I don't know. <laughs> it is getting old, though, yeah. because it's, it's just, you, so you hate to see people door. leave when yeah. they have these. But, you know, I guess this is the world we live yep. in. Now. All right, Zach, thank you. Thank you, Zach. It has been, this is not good news either, a dreary, <laughs> drizzly Thursday. I look at your first one forecast. Here's Jacob. How long is this rain going to continue? Well, it's only going to continue for about a few more hours, and the rain has been very light, but as you mentioned, it has just been a little bit of a hindrance throughout the day. 49 degrees. It's also been pretty cool with that rain. Here's a look at the current radar. Nothing, you know, significant. Nothing like what we saw just a few days ago, uh, but the rain has definitely kind of dampened the mood outside over the last, you know, few hours as it's occurred. But looking at future track. We are expected to see some showers continue through the evening, but it is going to dry out by the time we get to around sunset. We mostly are going to see dry conditions for the weekend as well. Really not going to see a lot of rainfall once the rain we're seeing right now clears out. Now taking a look at the current temperatures right around 50 for a lot of Dane County. Looking at the temperatures across the entire region, a few areas are in the middle 40s. Unfortunately, although we're not going to see any rain, we are going to continue to see some pretty cold temperatures. So rain for the evening, but as we get later in the night, we are going to see the skies clear up, but it is going to be a pretty cold one as lows will drop into the 30s, and we actually have a few frost advisories for parts of our area. I'll talk more in detail about the weekend forecast. Again, looking dry, but 
will be pretty windy and cool. I'll have the details a little bit later. All right, Jacob, thank you. A familiar face is running for a congressional seat that he once held. That would be Peter Barca, who most recently served as the state's revenue secretary, announcing he'll run for Congress once again. Political reporter Will Keneally joins us with more. Will? Well, Barker's running for the state's first congressional district, which spans from Rock County across southern Wisconsin to his hometown of Kenosha. Now, he previously held that seat for a single term in the 1990s. Speaking to reporters today, he says he's looking to appeal to a broad base of that right-leaning district. I, I'm running on a platform that I would say 80% of this district would support. Now, of course, uh, I won't get 80% of the vote. I wish I would, but uh, I do think I can win. Now, Barca is challenging Brian Stile, who won the seat back in 2018 after working as a staffer for former Speaker Paul Ryan and as a UW Regent. Now, Barca faces at least one other Democrat in the race. A primary for that seat will be held in August. Will, thank you. Today, the Collegiate Farm Bureau at UW-Madison held its annual Ag Day event on campus. Every year, the student organization hosts this event to share the importance of agriculture and food sciences to Wisconsin. Wisconsin's contributions to agriculture bring in over $104 billion to the state every year. The event was held at Library Mall, and there the Collegiate Farm Bureau gave out agricultural foods that hold a unique connection to our state. Blue corn tortilla chips, milk, string cheese, honey, and maple syrup sticks were given away to students. So that's another goal of today is just to show like, yes, we are a dairy state, but we also have, you know, cranberries we're a pretty big producer of, and I know we're a big producer of ginseng and apples. So just different things like that, that Sometimes people just think all we do is milk cows, and that's not necessarily everything we do here. Grace says after graduation, she hopes to work in research to make agriculture more sustainable. Coming up today's development in the Trump trial and the House is moving towards a vote on aid to Ukraine. And it's Thursday. That means we'll check in with the Madison firefighters quest to win the amazing race. We'll tell you how they did last night right after this break. <laughs> If your home is too hot in the summer or too cold in the winter, you probably have leaky wood or vinyl windows. Next Door and Window has the products and expertise to solve those problems. Our Ultrax fiberglass windows are eight times stronger than vinyl, and they're built for extreme weather. They stay snug and tight, so your home is more energy efficient. The strength of fiberglass frames means your windows will open and close effortlessly. Get 50% off installation on windows and doors and 24 months interest-free financing. Let's hit the road. The road to winning at Wild Rose Casino and Hotel Clinton, Iowa. You're just a short drive away from a weekend full of fun, food, and winning. Plenty of slots calling your name, table games too. Or watch and wager on the games in our DraftKings Sportsbook. There's something for everyone at Wild Rose Casino and Hotel Clinton. You'd rather be here. No two people are exactly alike. While I can make my coffee just right for me, I can't customize everything. Take health insurance, for example. Original Medicare is just basic coverage, and it's the same for everyone. It didn't cover all of my health care needs or provide all the benefits I wanted. That's why I called Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield about their Medicare Advantage plans. With one call, they helped me find a Medicare Advantage plan that's like my morning coffee, just right for me. I was able to find a Medicare Advantage plan with additional benefits like dental, vision, prescription drug coverage, and more. But I couldn't have gotten those additional benefits if I didn't call. I spoke to an Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield licensed insurance agent that listened to my needs and treated me like family. They helped me find a plan with all the benefits I need, and they can help you too. The call is free, and there's no obligation to enroll. If you just turned 65, recently moved, or lost coverage, you may be eligible for a plan today. Don't settle for basic coverage. Call now to find a plan with more benefits like dental, vision, and prescription drug coverage. You know, with my old plan, I was missing out on some things I really needed. I heard that new plan options were available for 2024, so I called. I couldn't believe what they had to say. You might just be a little surprised yourself. They even helped me find a plan that lets me keep all of my doctors and specialists. If you're looking for more coverage that fits your needs and your budget, give Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield a call today. 
They'll help you find a plan that's right for you, just like you made it yourself. Call now. You may be eligible to enroll in a plan today, but you won't know unless you take action. Call 800-916-6140. That's 800-916-6140. 800-916-6140. Call now. Former President Donald Trump's historic trial in New York resumed today. Twelve jurors have now been selected. The former president returned to the courtroom where two of the seven jurors previously selected were excused. One juror explained that her identity had been made public, prompting the judge to scold reporters for revealing too many details. Prosecutors asked that Trump be held in contempt for seven more social media posts they said violated the judge's gag order, including one with a claim that, the, that liberal activists are lying in order to get on that jury. The judge is set to hear arguments on that next week. The question is whether he can enforce the gag order, and he's going to try to do it with admonition after admonition after warning, and then perhaps some fines. Now, the presumptive Republican presidential nominee is accused of falsifying business records in order to cover up a hush money payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels. Trump denies any wrongdoing and calls the case politically motivated. One of the nation's most prominent political families delivered a stinging message to one of its own. Half a dozen members of the Kennedy family took to the stage to endorse President Biden for another term. Their support was a blunt rejection of Robert F. Kennedy Jr., whose presidential campaign threatens to split the Democratic vote. At a campaign stop in Philadelphia, RFK Jr.'s sister Carrie said America's rights and freedom Freedoms are in peril and the Democrats need to come together to win. Nearly every single grandchild of Joe and Rose Kennedy supports Joe Biden. That's right, the Kennedy family endorses Joe Biden for president. RFK Jr. is running as an independent. His family has said for months they do not support his campaign and they, in fact, denounce it. The U.S. House could vote as soon as this weekend on foreign aid bills to help Ukraine, Israel, and the Indo-Pacific. The national security assistance has been stuck in Congress for weeks but comes at a critical time for U.S. allies. Natalie Brand now with more from Washington. Come to order. A long-awaited aid package to provide U.S. allies with critically needed funds has its first big test today before the House Rules Committee. I have been saying for months we need to support our friends and allies around the world now. This bill is probably one of the most important votes we'll have in our careers. The House plan includes three separate bills with more than $60 billion in security assistance for Ukraine and $26 billion for Israel. Another $8 billion is pegged for the Indo-Pacific with the goal of countering China. Speaking with foreign ministers at the G7 meeting, Secretary of State Antony Blinken and his Ukrainian counterpart laid out what's at stake. If Putin is allowed to proceed with impunity, we know he won't stop at Ukraine. House Speaker Mike Johnson, aiming for a final vote this weekend, must try to win over conservatives. I'm doing here what I believe to be the right thing. Um, I think pr providing lethal aid to Ukraine right now is critically important. Speaker Johnson hopes by putting separate bills on the floor, it increases the chances of passage. If he loses members of his own party, he's going to need Democratic support. We are not going to allow America's national security interests to be undermined. President Biden has indicated support for the package. It could come at a cost for Speaker Johnson with Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene threatening to trigger a vote to oust him as Speaker. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill. A look now at your first warrant forecast. Here's meteorologist Jacob Montesano. Jacob. Thanks, Eric. Here's a look at the three things you need to know for the rest of this week. We are going to see some breezy conditions for Friday and Saturday with cooler temperatures continuing for the end of the week, but we aren't going to see any rainfall until we get to Monday night and Tuesday. Now that is, of course, after this rain clears out of our area. 
We are still seeing some lingering showers, but for the most part, we're not going to see much more rainfall, but it may continue for about another hour or two. So looking at future track, a lot of the rain will clear out around 6 to 7 p.m. Should be dry by sunset. And then throughout the night, we are going to see the clouds clear out of our area as temperatures will fall into the middle 30s. We'll see sunshine in the morning tomorrow, but we are going to see some cloud cover during the afternoon for Friday. Still not expect to see a lot of rain or if any for the weekend. Now looking at the frost advisory, there are frost advisories in effect for Grant Crawford and Richland counties, so some vegetation may get frost on them uh, if they're left uncovered. So just make sure you uh, be aware of that as temperatures could get close to freezing. Likely going to stay just above that, but wouldn't surprise me if a few isolated locations do drop below freezing for tonight. Now looking at the forecast for tomorrow afternoon, we are going to see those highs in the lower 50s, so we're going to remain below average, and we also are going to be pretty windy for Friday. So looking at the wind gust forecast, we could be talking about wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour. So combining the winds with the temperatures, it certainly will feel pretty cool tomorrow. And although it will be breezy on Saturday, the winds aren't going to be quite quite as bad as they will be for your day tomorrow. Now, as we take a look at the next chance of rain, this will be for Monday night, but again, we're not going to see a ton of precipitation from this. The rain is expected to continue into Tuesday, possibly continue for a good portion of the day, but it looks like we may see a little bit more rain compared to today, but for the most part, we're just going to see more light showers, not a huge issue, but we do have a better chance of rain towards the end of next week. Now, looking at the drought monitor, which was released today, it doesn't show the rain rainfall we saw Tuesday that will show next week, but it still shows that there is that severe drought to the northwest of Madison, but the extreme drought in Iowa has shrunken a little bit and that area of severe drought has also shrunken a little bit. Now all the rain we saw on Tuesday will reflect in next week's drought monitor, which hopefully shows a lot of improvements. Now here's a full look at the seven to 10 day forecast. We're going to see that sunshine despite the cold temperatures for the weekend, although Sunday will actually be a bit warmer as we'll see highs in the upper 50s and then we'll be back in the lower 60s for Monday and most of next week will be in the middle 50s to lower 60s. Chance of rain Monday night and Tuesday. Better chance of rain towards the end of next week though. All right, Jake. Well, here's our weekly update on the two local firefighters competing in CBS's Amazing Race. It was another, oh, are they going to make it episode last night. Previously on The Amazing Race. The last two weeks, Sonny Pulver and Busy Smith looked like they could be the last team to check in after falling well behind the other teams. And last night, that's what it felt like again in the waning minutes of the competition. The show started with the two starting the mega leg in the last group. They successfully completed the bicycleta detour, which required teams to grind plastic bottles while riding on a stationary bike in order to fill a bin. Next, it was the roadblock, where one member of the team had to be a passenger in a race car and then complete a puzzle that showed the racetrack route. Other teams struggled with the race car puzzle, but Sonny completed it after just two attempts. Thank you. And then after the next roadblock, which saw a teammate needing to score a goal in a game of bubble soccer, they were suddenly in third place, bypassing a strong alliance of three other teams. Unfortunately, the next roadblock, the what's your beef, gave them all sorts of trouble. They had to match 14 cuts of meat with their names on a board in the correct location of the animal. As they were struggling, the three-team alliance arrived and helped each other out and passed our firefighters. But they survived this week, coming in seventh. Next week, the race heads to Uruguay, but the alliance, if it continues, will add an extra challenge for our firefighters to survive another episode. Sunny grew up in Verona. Now she lives in Edgerton and Busy is from New Berlin. So it makes the show nice so much to more. have those local oh, connections. Definitely, definitely. It's a All good right. season. All right, coming up next on Live at Four, we're giving you a preview of a masterful concert. Here from this violin virtuoso and the maestro of the Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra. That's coming up next on Live at Four. If you're about to replace your roof, stop. 
there's a solution about 80% less expensive. Nine out of 10 roofs can be saved by RoofMax. Guaranteed to extend the life of your current roof by five to 15 years at a fraction of the cost of a new roof. RoofMax's deep penetrating power restores flexibility and water protection. Nobody wants to replace their roof. Restore it instead with RoofMax for 80% less. Call now for a free roof inspection. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. This is me, and this was my stubborn body fat. My name's Adrian, and Sono Bello changed my life. Sono Bello is America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. After having two kids, my body, it changed a lot. I tried everything to lose the fat, but nothing seemed to work. Sono Bello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, back, chin, and more. I've seen such dramatic results. My tummy is gone, my double chin is gone, and my hourglass shape is back. This was the mommy makeover that I deserved. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-888-357-3263 or go to sonobello.com. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. Because for 54 years they were trying to get Roe v. Wade terminated, and I did it, and I'm proud to have done it. In 2016, Donald Trump ran to overturn Roe v. Wade. Now, in 2024, he's running to pass a national ban on a woman's right to choose. I'm running to make Roe v. Wade the law of the land again, so women have a federal guarantee to the right to choose. Donald Trump doesn't trust women. I do. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Squeaky, creaky, leaky entry doors from big box stores should be ignored. Scott the window guy does entry doors. He can do yours and so much more. We do entry doors at scottthewindowguy.com. The Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra wraps up its five concert masterwork series on Friday night. The grand finale is an opportunity to meet and hear the music of a virtuoso violinist. <laughs> Oh, do we have to stop the music? To oh, <laughs> just keep playing. Yeah. That is French virtuoso violinist Gilles Apop playing Beethoven's Violin Concerto in D. He will be performing Friday night in the Capitol Theater with the Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra. That really is beautiful to hear. We're welcoming Gilles to Madison, Bro. along with the music director of the Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra, Maestro Andrew Sewell. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us tonight. Thanks for having us. Well, let's talk about this. Beautiful music. Uh, what inspires you in that? That's just incredible. You've been uh, playing the violin for many years. Uh, uh, Yehudi Menuhin uh, was your... your yeah. Well, yeah, Mentor. yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, mm -hmm. been, I've been playing since I was, I, I don't know, 10, in, 10 years old, yeah. and then wow. I, I still, I still discover things about it, and it's, I still makes, it still makes my, my life so fulfilled. And, and Andrew had this good idea to yeah. play this Beethoven, no? <laughs> Beethoven work, which is like, oh my God, this is like the purest thing if ever to play on the violin, and this is what and you know, got me into playing the violin as well. Gilles, when I was, yeah. what does it mean to be a virtuoso violinist? It doesn't mean anything to me, really. <laughs> <laughs> but what does it mean in the music world? In the music world would be probably because I play different styles of music. 
Probably, mm -hmm. that's probably one thing. Is it know? sort of the best of the best? Is, is it a way Correct. of saying that, yes, Andrew? Yes, yes, it's true. It's like being the soloist of the orchestra. And But in, in, in Jill's case, he's right, because he not only plays the concert repertoire, he's got uh, a, a whole slew of CDs of all mm. styles of music, bluegrass included, jazz. Yeah. Uh, he's got a picture of uh, Stefan Grappelli at his house in California, which I've been to. And how, did you, how did you two connect? Was it out in California? Yes, it was. Uh, he, uh, she lives in Arroyo Grande. We actually met at a, at a, at a, um, a solo recital at a church, and I went up to Gilles and said, you're Sheila Pap? He goes, yes, and, uh, you're Andrew Saw. I said, yes, <laughs> would you like to play with the, the symphony? And he, and he said, yes, so we, he's played with us in San Luis Obispo twice, mm. and it's high time we got him to Madison, so here you, we are. You have played all over the world, but this is your first time to in Madison. Madison. Yep. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, you know. I, we, we had, a, we had a, a rehearsal last night, I met all the musicians, mm -hmm. and it sounds really good, they're really, and I don't get to play in, in the U.S. much. Well, how do you how do you get like pick the songs and collaborate, Andrew Gill? Uh, how do you guys come together to to put this show together? That's something that the Madison public really wants. Well, it's uh, the Baden Violin Concerto is a standard orchestral work, mm -hmm. um, and and then we're also pairing it with an English piece called Lark Ascending, which is a beautiful, uh, hauntingly uh, powerful work from just before World War One that uh, Ralph Vaughan Williams wrote. Yeah. And then we're adding it with another piece, an English piece. So we've crafted a recipe, if you like, a nice a nice mm -hmm. dinner, but. Mm -hmm. um, where we feature the soloist in this case, uh, Gilles... Um, Tip uh, included. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it, it just, it means that um, everyone, most of his career is in, the, in, in Europe. He mm -hmm. spends all, all nine months of the year touring uh, in, in, in various capacities. And so this is kind of like a homecoming for us. And to hear his interpretation of that work is, is truly magnificent. Well, it's a treat for the Madison public. It's wonderful that you brought him to our, to. to our mm -hmm. audiences here, and I'm sure the crowd will enjoy it uh, at the final. We'll Madison just have to series. get him back for contests on this exactly. 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 Madison's okay. much better in the summer on the square. Thanks for being with us. Thank You're you. Welcome, welcome, so much. welcome to Madison. Oh, Thank please. you. Thank you. Gilles and the Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra perform tomorrow night at 7.30 in the Capitol Theater at the Overture Center. Tickets are still available at WCOConcerts.org or at the Overture Center box office. When we come back, how the city of Madison is adding more housing units. And seniors in need of some muscle to move that sofa bed. Got some volunteer help today. That more when we return. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Salon Pass Lidocaine Flex, a super thin, flexible patch with maximum OTC strength lidocaine that contours to the body to relieve pain right where it hurts. And did we mention it really, really sticks? Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to my husband and I finally agreed that we need a new bathtub and shower. So he went right to work on handling the project. That's him going online researching bathtub and shower installers. And there he is, calling a few places to get an estimate. I think he's procrastinating. Call 1-800-HANSONS for a new shower or bathtub you'll love. Installed in as little as one day. It's okay. I called 1-800-HANSONS. We custom figure new bathtub or shower into your existing space for a fast, convenient, and hassle-free installation with any safety features your family needs. Safety bars, seats, and more with a no-leak guarantee. Oh, hey, I'm gonna call 1-800-HANSONS. That's great, hon. Get 50% off installation or no interest, no payments for two full years. Offer ends soon. Call 1-800-HANSONS. Get it done. Go long. That's a championship lawn. Be ashamed of some weeds. Are you sick and tired of your lawn getting sacked by weeds? Tackle weeds on your home turf with Weed Man. Let's hit the road. The road to winning at Wild Rose Casino and Hotel, Clinton, Iowa. You're just a short drive away from a weekend full of fun, food, and winning. 
plenty of slots calling your name. Table games, too. Or watch and wager on the games in our DraftKings Sportsbook. There's something for everyone at Wild Rose Casino and Hotel Clinton. You'd rather be here. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4. Let's take a look outside. Kind of a dreary day on this Thursday, but busy on Library Mall. The weather words today, cool and windy. Let's head over to Jacob to see how much longer we'll be in this pattern. Well, the cool weather is going to stick around for a few days. The rain won't last too much longer, but that shot reminded me that we're in the time of year that even the, quote, bad days are still bearable outside. You know, we're not seeing high temperatures in the 30s anymore, although lows may actually drop below freezing tonight. So looking at the current uh, radar, we are still seeing some showers across the region. This is expected to last for about another hour or two. But by the time we get to sunset, we certainly are going to be dry. And then we actually will see the clouds clear out of our area throughout the night. And we'll see sunshine to start the day tomorrow. So looking at the current temperatures, 40s and 50s right now, below average for this time of the year. And with the rain, it definitely was kind of a gloomy day. But as I mentioned, still better than some of the bad days that we would see in the winter as it was still bearable outside. Now looking at the evening forecast, we are going to see temperatures dropping into the upper 40s with the rain ending. Cloudy skies are expected for the evening, but clear skies are expected later in the night as lows will drop into the middle 30s, possibly below freezing. So overnight lows will be pretty cold. And although we're going to stay below average, still going to likely get up to the 50s for the next couple of days. I'll talk through the full weekend forecast, though, coming up a bit later. All right, Jacob, thank you. The city of Madison opens the door to adding more. All right, we're going to go to Armand Rahman, where we understand the jury has reached a verdict in the case against Jakira Anderson. Armand? <laughs> Yeah, Eric, we are live right now uh, in the courtroom, now in the media room, waiting for a verdict. We heard that a verdict has been reached. This is quicker than we expected because the jury did ask for a transcript of the defense's testimony, Ja'Kyra Anderson's testimony, and after the judge uh, sent them back their statement on that, it seems like a verdict is forthcoming here. We'll bring you more on News 3 Now at 5 and 6 about what that verdict is right now. We are waiting for the defense and the prosecution to come back into the courtroom as well as the judge. Right now the gallery is coming back and getting seated right now. So again, be sure to uh, stay tuned in here as we receive that verdict. All right, and we will take that live, Armand, as it happens. Thank you very much. Now to our next story, the city of Madison opening the door to adding more housing units after a unanimous city council vote earlier this week. Alders voted to change the city's zoning code to allow for what are known as accessory dwelling units, or ADUs. Those units can be built on lots that already contain a building with up to eight units. It also changes a rule so that property owners don't have to live on site. It's all part of a plan to increase housing density in Madison. You know, it's really about adding additional housing options within the community. So this is a way to build in kind of a gentle density within an existing neighborhood without a lot of change, but allowing more housing options for the variety of households that we want to see within one neighborhood. Now with this change, units can be added in spaces like garages, attics, or basements, or even in a detached structure on a lot. These units would be limited to two bedroom units of no more than 900 square feet. Well, if you have to move a bed, change around the living room furniture, it's a challenge for many, and it can be a daunting one for seniors. But if you're a member of SAIL, sharing active, independent lives, today was your day. Two men and a truck volunteers spent the day helping more than 15 seniors move furniture, heavy items, and boxes. There is a membership fee to become a SAIL member, but their goal is members helping members and help foster people to be as independent as they want to be. We have a lot of very fiercely independent folks in our membership. Uh, we range in age from like 58 to 103. And so I think all of our members know the value of asking for help. We offer a lot of resources and information to them and offer other organizations and agencies that we partner with and can make sure that they can get those, the help that they need. Yeah. 
You can find more information about sale at saletoday.org. A new study finds a majority of peak boomers, those turning 65 between now and the year 2030, are not financially prepared to stop working, and many risk living in poverty. Research from the ALI, Retirement Income Institute, funds two-thirds of peak boomers will be financially challenged in retirement, with about 52% only having assets of about $250,000 or less, and that means they will likely run through their savings and rely mainly on Social Security for income. The study also reveals major disparities in assets based on gender and race, but financial experts say there are ways to bridge the gap. What I really encourage people to do is to look ahead, look at their Social Security benefits, and try as much as possible to wait until your full retirement age, which is usually 67. There's also a path forward potentially for a lot of Americans who are trying to do different kind of work from, say, their 50s to that full retirement age. I like to think of this as an off-ramp. Can you find work that is a little bit less demanding, that brings in some income that allows you to wait till age 67 to claim that retirement benefit? Approximately 4.1 million Americans will turn 65 this year and every year through the year 2027. That's the largest surge of retirement age Americans in history. Not a good day for the S&P. It closes lower for a fifth straight session. The Nasdaq gained 20, I should say the Dow Jones gained 22. The Nasdaq down almost 82. And again, the S&P down 11. Next, know someone who still smokes? We'll check out a new campaign that is trying to convince them to give up the habit. That's when Live at Four continues. I won't shoot you. I want fresh air. Uh, hun. You need the experts. The home renewal experts at Belco will make your project a breeze with free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for six years. Free installation won't last long. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Belco. If you have heart failure, entrust your heart to Entresto. Entresto helps improve your heart's ability to pump blood to the body. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. And don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or Aliskiran or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto for heart failure. Novartis may help you save on your prescription. Another year of yo-yo dieting? Not this year. Hit reset and make a permanent change with permanent fat removal by Sonobello. With Sonobello, day one, all my unwanted body fat gone. These are my favorite pair of jeans that I couldn't even button up. Look how flat my stomach is. I couldn't believe like it was just gone. I saw the results immediately. And this is the best I have felt since I was in my 20s. Real women everywhere are transforming their bodies permanently. Sono Bello is not a fad diet or boot camp workout. It's a simple, proven way to remove stubborn body fat permanently and in just one visit. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. If you are looking for physical results and positive emotional results, please run, don't walk to your nearest Sono Bello. Ready to hit reset? Find out how you can save $250 off instantly. Call now or go to Sonobello.com. Yo, you think Dallas is Power 4 gonna drop 30 tomorrow? His mom made a post about going to the game. What? He's been averaging like 34 points a game when she's there. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Cash in on your sports fandom with prize picks. Update your floors with Empire Today's $50 room sale. Buy one room, get floors for all other rooms for just $50 each. There's no limit. 800-588-2300 Empire. Today. New at 5, the Sauk County Board makes a bold move to save the uw Platteville baraboo campus. Could this lifeline be the answer to the struggle of smaller campuses? It's going to be a pretty cold night, and we actually have a few frost advisories in effect for parts of our area. I'll have the full forecast, though, for you at 5. And ahead at 6, a challenger steps forward to claim the most competitive congressional seat in the state. We examine what could happen when Peter Barca takes on incumbent Brian Style. That's tonight at 6. 
The CDC is launching a new campaign aiming to get more people to quit smoking. Well, those ads feature former smokers who want others to know how dangerous cigarettes can be. Bradley Blackburn has more. I thought I was doing everything right. Tammy ate healthy and ran every day. The 20-year smoker told herself menthol cigarettes weren't as harmful as others. When surgeons open your chest at age 44 because of heart disease from smoking, you learn quickly there is no healthy cigarette. It was at that point that I realized I needed to choose life over cigarettes. I fought my way back, and I'm here. And I wanted to reach out and tell people the story so that they don't get to the point where I was. Tammy is among the new faces of the CDC's Tips from Former Smokers campaign. This Today year's focus is on the dangers of menthol cigarettes, cigarettes, which the agency says can make it easier to start smoking and harder to stop. One of the goals of the campaign that we have is to motivate people to quit smoking as early in life as possible. Your body can undo some of the damage that smoking has caused. Your blood pressure can improve. Your risk for a heart attack improves. More than one million adults have quit thanks to the campaign, but about 28 million people in the U.S. are are still smoking. One of the things that I would recommend is, you know, talking to your doctor. Your health care provider could provide you with a quitting plan, recommend nicotine replacement therapy. I am so grateful to be alive. It's been eight years since Tammy kicked the habit. Reach out for help and don't quit quitting because you do not want to go what I went through. You want your life. You want to be here. So learn from my mistakes. She hopes everyone gets the message and the resources that are available. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. My husband has heart disease. And if you want to learn more, the CDC has posted the videos with the former smokers on its website, cdc.gov, as well as a lot of other resources if you are trying to quit smoking. Well, the polling shows Wisconsin voters are still evenly split when it comes to the races for president and Senate. Take a look at those numbers with Charles Franklin right after a short break. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. I'm Megan Tim, Director of Community Health at SSM Health. You may know us as healthcare providers, but we live here too. And as good neighbors, we know our community thrives when we take care of each other. That's why SSM Health and News 3 Now are sharing the keys to health. Watch for our expert information and advice on air, online, and at fun local events. Join SSM Health and News 3 Now, and together, we'll unlock a healthier community by taking time for kids. I'm Clint. I'm Phil saving you big time money on frozen food. 24 ounce TJ Farms shredded hash browns or 12 ounce frozen blueberries, $169 each or two for $3. I caramba hot hot prices on TJ Farms products. Hash browns or blueberries, both $169 or two for three. Enjoy TJ Farms products and save money. Better, better products, better prices, better, better service because we're employee owned. from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive seven-day price protection and money-back guarantees. Stop in or shop and purchase at bergstromchevrolet.com. What can our foam do for your home? Incredible comfort, no matter what the weather. Incredible savings, because your AC is going to run so much less. It even reduces outside noise and allergens. <laughs> No matter what kind of cheap insulation you already have, our foam will go right over it. Incredible. And spring is the time for incredible deals. So we're matching the $1,200 tax credit with a $1,200 discount. USA Insulation. 
This famous wood fence from the show Home Improvement had to have boards replaced 13 times in only nine years. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are all backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. This month, save $1,000 on your project. Visit the website or call the number for your new fence today. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. Get together with them. Well, with seven months to go until the election, a new Marquette poll of Wisconsin voters gives us a glimpse of where things stand. It's really interesting. The latest poll looked at the presidential race, of course, and the hotly contested race for the United States Senate right here in Wisconsin. The director of the Marquette Law School poll, Charles Franklin, is back with us today. Hi, Charles. Charles. Great to good, see you. Good to be here. Thanks. Well, let's talk about these numbers. Uh, it's always interesting. And we're kind of finally, you know, you're always working on polls, but we're getting in the last stretch run here, right? We have 201 days to elect today, <laughs> not that anybody's <laughs> counting. Well, let's start and talk about the Senate race. <clears throat> so a fairly close Senate race, no matter how you look at it, uh, by one measure with registered voters, Baldwin has a five-point lead, 52 to 47. But with likely voters, it's a dead-even tie, 50-50. We're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get Hold interrupted because yeah. we're gonna go to this verdict in a homicide trial. We'll be right back with Charles. But let's go down Sorry, to the courtroom Charles. and Armand Raman and I think standing by with a verdict. Or are we going right to the, the verdict whole process and not for a particular answer? Uh, I will be reading that uh, answer. I'll read that out loud. Uh, after I read it, I'm going to ask you if that is your verdict to say yes, if not, say no. And in a rather old-fashioned way, you're going to respond in chorus. I'll be right with you. There is one signed verdict. The companion verdicts are not signed. In the state of Wisconsin versus Jakaira Anderson, we, the jury, find the defendant, Jakaira Anderson, guilty of first degree intentional homicide in violation of section 940.01 of the criminal code of Wisconsin as charged in the information. Jurors, if this is your verdict, say yes. No. If not, say no. Yes. Yes. On the next question, uh, did the defendant commit the crime of first-degree intentional homicide while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. Jurors, for that question, if that is your verdict, say yes. If not, say no. Yes. The verdict is signed and dated by the presiding juror. Jurors, I'm going to check in with you each uh, individually one at a time. Actually, uh, <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir, this is not helpful right now. Would you just please, <laughs> sir? Well, there you, there you hear the verdict against uh, Ja'Kyra Anderson in the uh, shooting from early last year, the uh, homicide death of car salesman Kausu Samba at a Middleton car dealer. Arman Rahman is in the court, and we will check back with him for continuing coverage of that event on uh, News 3 Now at 5 and 6, of course, as well. We want to get back to Charles Franklin talking about the Mar Marquette Law School poll, and we were talking about the Senate race and what those numbers look like. Eric Hovde against the incumbent. Tammy Baldwin. So a Baldwin lead by five, 52-47 with registered voters, but a 50-50 tie with likely voters. We don't see much difference in registered and likely in the presidential race. Sort of interesting that it blips up here mm -hmm. a little bit different. Uh, I think that may be in part because Hovde still has 56% who say they don't know enough to have an opinion. But on the vote question, we identify her as a Democrat, him as a Republican, and I think good polar, party polarization helps make that race close. Let's take a look at the presidential numbers. There, it's still very close. Trump at 51, Biden at 49. It was 49-49 in January. So a little two-point move in, tr in Trump's direction. Uh, margin of error here is 4.8 percentage points. So this is obviously a very close race. And you talked about, the, you know, off camera, we talked about sometimes you get questions about that margin of error and how, yeah. how to interpret these polls when you have those margin of errors. How yeah. do you answer that question? Well, I think part of the answer is in any close race, no poll is going to be able to reliably tell you who's ahead by one or two points because everybody's margin of error is going to be three or four or possibly more. Um, so that's a, that's a problem. 
Um, I think the best you can say is this is a close race and there's no reason to be very confident about who's ahead and take that into consideration in thinking about the race. Voters in both parties are galvanized around specific issues. And you asked voters about that. What's the difference between the Democrats and Republicans? It, it's really striking. The economy is the top issue across everybody. Immigration is the second highest issue. For Republicans, those two are almost the only issues that matter. None of the others are outside of single single digits. But with Democrats, abortion is the top issue. But what's so striking is immigration gets only 1% of Democrats saying it's their most important issue versus 37% among Republicans. Uh, you really do see different partisans camps. We saw that throughout 2022 when we asked about an array of eight or nine issues. This year we're asking about seven issues and that huge gap on immigration really stands out. The CNN was in Wisconsin. Uh, Jeff Zeleny did a really interesting report on third party. Uh, he talked to Brian Chimming for the Republican Party, talked to Democrats in the state. How does RFK Jr. kind of, are you seeing any indicators from him at this point? It's really an interesting yeah. dynamic that he's from pretty much the, the Democratic family in American history, <laughs> yet some people aren't really sure who he's going to pull from here. Uh, and what we saw in this poll is he's getting about 13 percent of the wow. vote. That's down a little bit from where he was earlier, uh, but it's still very sizable. But he's getting about 5% more from Republicans than he's getting from, mm. from Democrats. Mm. Um, and we've seen that in our Wisconsin polling and in our national polling. On the other hand, uh, Jill Stein and Cornell West take right. more from the Democrats. And so the net is not much different um, in the overall, it's Trump 41, Biden 40 okay. in the five-way race. So a two-point margin without anybody else, a one-point margin with okay. those three well, independents. Well, 20,000 votes tight, is all it yep, took yep, you know, exactly. uh, to, di to differentiate this race a few years ago. So uh, it'll be a roll. Interesting to watch, see how that develops in the months ahead. Charles, sure. thanks for your patience. Stay with us. Yeah. Great news. <laughs> no Always problem. Always great to see you. Thanks, Thank Charles. you. Good to see you. We'll be right back. It's a great time to have RG Heating and Air Conditioning check your home's furnace system for safety and efficiency. RG services all brands and installs quality train equipment to keep your home running smooth year-round. Call RG Heating and AC today. April showers bring May flowers. But do your tired gutters risk basement flooding? To the rescue, Fry Construction. Our absolute gutter system is custom fabricated on site for a perfect seamless fit. It's engineered to outperform. Looking for a break in the clouds? How about a sunny 24% discount on our absolute gutter system? To get this deal, visit FryConstruction.com today to schedule a full roof replacement. Fjords has been crafting beautifully designed functional furniture since 1941. Every aspect of Fjords furniture has been carefully engineered to create a higher level of relaxation. Visit the Century House today and view our extensive lineup. Experience the unmatched relaxation you can only achieve in Fjords furniture. Relaxation made beautiful. Visit the Century House at 3420 University Avenue in Madison or online at centuryhouseinc.com. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. New at 5, the Sauk County Board makes a bold move to save the uw Platteville baraboo campus. Could this lifeline be the answer to the struggle of smaller campuses? News for Now dives into the discussion and explores the potential shifts in ownership that's coming up next. We want you first. We have been talking for days about thunderstorm potential. That's next Tuesday, so make sure you're aware of that in storm system as it moves on in. First, with the information you need to be prepared and stay safe. First, warn weather. 
Here's a look at the forecast and lows for tonight. We're going to see clear skies later in the night as lows will drop into the 30s, but we do have that frost advisory in effect for the western part of our area. Grand Crawford, Richland counties as frost is expected since temperatures will get pretty close to freezing. Now as we get to the afternoon hours on Friday, we are going to see high temperatures in the lower 50s, partly sunny skies, so we're not going to see any rainfall, but we are expected to see some pretty windy conditions and looking at the wind gust forecast during the afternoon for Friday, we could see those wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour at times. Breezy conditions are expected to continue for Saturday, but we're not going to see quite as windy of weather uh, for the weekend. So that is the good news, but temperatures are still going to remain rather cool. So upper 40s are in the forecast for Saturday. A little bit warmer for Sundays. We'll have highs in the upper 50s and then 60s should return for Monday. Rain does look likely Monday night into Tuesday. That'll be our next chance of rain, so it's going to remain dry through the weekend. With dry conditions again for uh, Wednesday and Thursday of next week, a better chance of some heavier rain is expected towards the end of next week as temperatures for next weekend begin to climb back up into the middle 60s. We'll be right back. Get an 11% rebate on your tiling project at Menards. Give any room a fresh look with the beauty and durability of tile from Mohawk. Mohawk features over 350 ceramic, porcelain, mosaic, and glass tiles. Edmonton tiles are $159 each after rebate. Complete your tiling job with professional quality mortars and grouts from TAC. Achieve everlasting beauty with premium power grout. It's stain resistant, never needs sealing, and only $18.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Let's hit the road. The road to winning at Wild Rose Casino and Hotel Clinton, Iowa. You're just a short drive away from a weekend full of fun, food, and winning. Plenty of slots calling your name, table games too. Or watch and wager on the games in our DraftKings Sportsbook. There's something for everyone at Wild Rose Casino and Hotel Clinton. You'd rather be here. Salon Pass Lidocaine Flex, a super thin, flexible patch with maximum OTC strength lidocaine that contours to the body to relieve pain right where it hurts. And did we mention it really, really sticks? Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to. This is me, and this was my stubborn body fat. My name's Adrian, and Sonobello changed my life. Sonobello is America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. After having two kids, my body, it changed a lot. I tried everything to lose the fat, but nothing seemed to work. Sono Bello's board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, back, chin, and more. I've seen such dramatic results. My tummy is gone, my double chin is gone, and my hourglass shape is back. This was the mommy makeover that I deserved. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-888-357-3263 or go to sonobello.com. With Sweeto Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Sweeto Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. And that'll do it today for Live at Four. Tomorrow, we'll have an interview with comedian Kathy Griffin, who is performing in Madison this weekend. Well, next at five, the Sauk County Board making an attempt to save the uw platteville Baraboo campus. We'll have those details coming up next on News 3 Now at 5. Thanks so much for watching Live at 4 today. Hope to see you back here tomorrow. News 3 Now at 5 starts right now.